What's up and welcome back to the channel. Um, so just a quick video for today. Uh, I bought a low dollar fuel pressure sensor and a different map sensor as well. And I installed it and I noticed that my fuel pressure on my mechanical gauge is different than the fuel pressure on the uh, display. All right, I'm gonna show you guys See how my fuel pressure right now is reading like can't see it. There we go. Eight. I'm gonna crank it up, see what it's videos maybe I didn't look enough but I didn't find anything so what I'm going to do is hopefully this is the correct way and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a custom um, fuel pressure sensor inside of the Holly software so here's what I did I already kind of sort of started it and I don't know if I'm doing it right but I'm just going to do it and then upload it and see what happens I wasn't running one at all, so if the fuel pressure sensor is off, it shouldn't mess with anything. Because before I wasn't running one at all. So let's see what we got. All right, first thing you want to do is come over here to sensors, hit that, and then just go down to fuel pressure. All right, and then you have a drop down here. You might have a Holly one, 100 psi, 200 psi already loaded, but I'm on a custom one for now. All right. And then I'm looking at my chart here. So I had the 150 PSI one from low dollar. And I, what I'm doing to do is just input these values, right? The voltage and the PSI, the voltage and the PSI. Okay. So I already put the 0.5 voltage here and zero PSI. All right. And the 10. The 0.77 is 10 PSI. The next one should be 103, 1.03, 1.03, and that one is 20 PSI. So let's drop that down to 20 PSI here. The next one should be 1.30. And we got a, that one will be 30 PSI. And then the next one, the 1.57 and so on and so forth, right? All you do is just go by the chart, put it in there. And we'll see what happens, right? So just input these values into your custom chart. So I'm gonna finish doing this and then I'm gonna upload it to the ECU and then we'll see if it works. Crank it up to see if it works. All right, All right so I think I have everything uh, uploaded correctly or saves correctly. So I'm gonna go upload it into the car and then read my gauge from there. All right, All right guys, well, I think I got it. Oh. Load it correctly, so let's check it out and see. Even right there, you can already tell it's a little bit higher, it's dropping a little bit, but let's crank it up.
that is the man. I'm gonna hate. I'm gonna hate to have to change this. It's all golly. I like it. I like it coming through the hood like that. In any case, uh, yes. Here is so the Holly sensor. Um, not Holly sensor. The low dollar sensor, right? And the Holly plug was already. I didn't have to plug anything. It was already there, so I just pushed it in. And I also got the. I had also went ahead and got the adapter, where I can just put it in on the end of my fuel rail. I was gonna take the gauge out over here and stick it in there, but I wanted to keep uh, the gauge. Plus I didn't wanna have to run wire from here all the way over there. So I just put it right there and I figured it'd work good. So there you have it. Um, again, really quick to show you, uh, all you have to do, right, is go over to sensors sensors fuel pressure and build to get you a custom one and build a custom one there and then input the the voltage down here and the pressure rating up here according to what chart to get yeah, that's just a little quick video for today i figured i um show you guys how to do it or I got something, right? Um, yes, but if you haven't already, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe, and hopefully that video will help you out. And we'll see you next time on Boosted Lucille. Man, I really hope, really hope, really hope there's a race or something. Not even a race. I need to go test this thing out. I need to test that bar out. I got a lot, a lot of blowback from doing that, uh, doing that sway bar uh, or anti b &M. BMR anti robot the way I did. Um, but I'm pretty sure I said in my last video that if it doesn't work, I just cut it off or buy actual anti robot. Um, I've been giving some serious thought about going ahead and back half in the car as well, but I don't really want to do that because I got my S10. Um, and that's what the S10 was going to be for back half that and get that as light as possible and see I can go as fast as my budget allow in that car. This car I wanted to. Um, street racing events, not street racing, but street car events. I want to finally get the interior back in it, get a new dash pad, and run my exhaust underneath the car. So that's so why I wanted to leave the suspension on this one stock style as best as I can. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we get to. But anyway, guys, y'all take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.